y'all. Happy Tuesday. If you're new here, my name is Leah and this is Coffee with Jesus. Um, today we are having our Thankful Tuesday and I'm really excited about this one. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, if you like this content, I ask that you do subscribe. Um, maybe videos or, or things that the Lord gives me to put out there would be something that would touch your life. Um, so yeah, thank y'all for watching. Today we're going to talk about our needs and how the Lord comes through when we least expect it. When things are looking so gl like gloom and doom and doom and gloom or however you want to say it. And it's like, we don't know how we're going to get out of that situation. Well, the past couple weeks, the Lord has really moved in our life and in our situations. And today we're going to reference the scripture, Matthew 6 and 26. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? So, um, how much more are we to God, okay? So, it started last week. We were going through a really tough time. And I may have spoke about this in one of my previous videos, but I'm going to touch back on this. Um, in the mail came an unexpected check. And I almost threw it away. I thought it was junk mail. And thank God I left it open on the counter because my husband seen it and he's like, Babe, this is a check. And I'm like, what? Sure enough, he goes and cashes it and we got groceries. Um, Cause it, it, bills was due, it was just an overwhelming time. Well, um, it went on, you know, through the week and still having some hard times. My husband and I was discussing, oh my gosh, it'd be great if you could get some overtime. He was telling me that work was slow, that they didn't have a lot going on. Well, that very next day, it may have been the day after, he went to, he pulled up at work and the parking lot was full of trucks for them to work on. Um, his boss come to him and said, we are choosing a few guys for overtime if you would like to work. My husband's like, yeah, yeah, I want to do it. So he's been working overtime. The Lord provided that. Um... We were kind of nervous about my medicine. Um, I'm going to link a video at the end of this video, just a little clip of what God did for me there as far as my medicine and our, you know, my health. But I just want to encourage you today. If you're going through a dark and hard time, if your faith is shaken, if you don't know how you're going to make it. If you don't know how you're going to make ends meet, especially nowadays, especially when times are so hard. And if you're like us and, you know, you're working two or three jobs, but then a better paying job comes along and you, you know, we have a big family. So I quit working and I stay home and I take care of my kids and I take them to ball practice and I take them to wrestling practice and I take them to work and, you know, to doctor's appointments. And I do all that and my husband works full time. It's a really big sacrifice nowadays. It is a really big. His one job pays what us working three jobs together brought in or three jobs in total. So, but it's still hard. It's still hard. So, the Lord has really put on my heart, if you can hear our birds in the background, I thought it was fitting for this video. Um, if he will care, if he does care for the birds in the air, how much more does he care for us? How much more do our prayers mean to him? How much more does it mean to him that our needs be met? Sometimes we can really get in a deep, almost a depressed state of how is this even going to work? How is this even going to happen? How are we going to keep a roof over our head? How are we going to pay that bill and this bill and that bill? 
how, you know, how. But God is a way maker. And when we sit down in prayer and we give him everything, when we surrender to him, when we've worked, when we've done all we can do, and we hand it over to him, he always comes through. He always makes a way. Maybe not in the way that we think. Maybe not in a way that makes sense to us, but in a way that's best fitting for our lives. And only God knows that. So, in Matthew 6 and 26, I'm going to read it again. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father, Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Today, if you're going through that struggle, if you don't know where the money's going to come from, if you're struggling in your health and the doctors don't have the answers and you're just holding on to God, if you're just holding on to the hem of that garment, if that's all you have, you have everything you need. I want to encourage you to keep holding on. Don't you give up. Don't give up. Keep holding on. Keep holding on and seeking God. Keep that faith. Don't let go. Remember, if he will take care of the birds in the air who can't go to the refrigerator and feed themselves, if he will take care of them, how much more will he take care of you? God bless you. I pray that y'all have a blessed week. Um, we'll be having our uh, Thrifty Thursday. We'll be going uh, to the Dollar Tree, and I'll be doing a haul from there. Um, I'm really excited about that. Um, hopefully my channel's okay. Yesterday, my, uh, Google was hacked. And, um, so we think we got that fixed. Uh, I pray we have. I don't know why people don't have anything better to do than sit at home and hack people's stuff. But that happens. Anyways, y'all be encouraged. Y'all be blessed. Um, it, like I said, if you like this content, and you were not yet subscribed, please subscribe. If it has touched your life, if you want to just share the video, I ask that you do that. Um, I thank y'all so much for taking time out of your day to watch these videos, taking time out of your day to respond or, or to message me. I have one viewer that messages me a lot, and I want her to know that she is a true blessing in my life. Um, with that being said, I'm going to let y'all go. Thank y'all for watching. Hey y'all, I want to get on here real quick and just really lift God up. Um, I seriously just got through crying. Uh, I know it's not my normal day to post, but I don't care. I just, I got to tell y'all about what God did for me. So a lot of people don't know, and I, you know, I have a lot of new watchers, subscribers, but um, I have pretty severe lung disease. And monthly I have to take a medicine um, for my lungs to keep them strong. Um, and my husband had this insurance before that it only cost us $10 to get my medicine filled. And he switched jobs and then it got to where um, insur that insurance was different and it would only pay so much. So it was costing us over $100. Well, we've really been in a tight place lately, struggling with finances and stuff. Um, we just went to the pharmacy to get my medicine and insurance has changed it to where I get three boxes of my medicine and it was $45 for three boxes versus over $100 for one. So I got a three month supply for $45. Um, I was so speechless. I was like, what? I've been praying so hard that God would make a way and I I'll be honest, I was in the point, I was to the point of, Lord, I'm not going to take the medicine. I'm not going to do it because we need groceries. We need things. The kids, you know, we got to start putting school clothes back and I'm just going to stop the medicine. You know, I was just, I felt guilty paying that much for medicine when I could be putting that money toward the kids and, you know, groceries and things we need. And the Lord turned it around and he worked it out for my good. And I just want to give him praise today. And I just want to jump on here and hopefully this will be an encouragement to somebody else. Maybe you're going through a hard time and it seems dark and you don't see a way through it. Just keep holding on to God because he shows up un unexpectedly. When we think that we're to the end and there's no way that it could work out, 
He has a way of showing up and showing out. So I give him all the praise, honor, and glory today. And I wanted to share that with y'all. God bless y'all. Talk to y'all soon.